Good morning, friends, and happy Wednesday. Today, we are going to celebrate the letter H. So, before we do that, let's get going with a morning song or an afternoon song. If you're watching it in the afternoon, let's do downright upright. Are you ready? Get your thumbs ready. All right, here we go. We're downright upright, in right, out right, happy all the time. We're downright upright in right out right happy all the time. Since we came to Smith, we've made a lot of friends. So we're downright upright in right out right happy all the time. All right, think you can do it faster with me? Here we go. We're downright upright in right out right happy all the time. We're downright upright in right out right happy all the time. Since we came to Smith, we've made a lot of friends. So we're downright upright in right out right happy all the time. Okay, can you go super sonic fast? Gotta move quick. You ready? We're downright upright in right out right happy all the time. We're downright upright in right out right happy all the time. Since we came to Smith, we've made a lot of friends. So we're downright upright in right out right happy all the time. Awesome. Good job, everybody. I know you probably did that with me. You were probably pretty quick, probably even quicker than I was. Okay, so before we do anything else, let's review how to make an H. So a capital H is made up of all straight lines. So when we make a capital H, our first line, we always start at the top. I won't sing the song today because I hope you know it by now, but I'm going to go down like this. And then we're going to do another line that looks just the same beside it. And then a straight line across the middle. And that is your capital H, okay? Now a lowercase h is a tall letter, just like a capital H. And it is made up of a straight line and a curved line. So the first thing you do is you make your straight line down like this. And then you go to the middle of the straight line and you go like that. And that is a lowercase h, okay? So if you have a piece of paper, practice doing those just for a quick second now. If you don't have a piece of paper, I'd love for you to practice doing it in the air, just like we did this morning during our live meeting. We always practice twice a day because we want to really know how to make both a capital and a lowercase of each letter. That's really important, especially because sometimes, like in the letter h, the capital and the lowercase, they don't look the same. Right? If you think of a C, a capital C and a lowercase c look the same. So do S's. But you just kind of have to learn that a capital H and a lowercase h look different. All right, so H says the sound, right? So why don't we sing a song that has a sound in it? Let's do it if you're happy and you know it, because happy starts with an H. All right, here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stop. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Stop, stop, stop. Hooray! And friends, the word hooray also starts with an H, doesn't it? Okay, so I have a little message for us today. Let's see if when I read it, if you can spot any popcorn words in the message today. All right, so here it goes. It says, it is Wednesday. And there's a period at the end of the sentence that tells us that the sentence is done. We are celebrating the letter H today. Can you think of words that rhyme with hat? 
So hat starts with an H. So we will do rhyming in just a minute, but first let's go back and relook at each sentence and see if we can spot any popcorn words in there. So it is Wednesday. So I'm sure you all spotted the first word, it, and then hopefully you saw the word I inside it. Okay, and then this is a popcorn word. Can you read that word? It's is. Okay, now Wednesday. I see a popcorn word right at the beginning of the word Wednesday. Do you spot it? Here it is right here, W-E. Do you know what that popcorn word is? We. And I should say this, friends. So usually we are not allowed to put capital letters in the middle of a sentence. Look at how I put a capital on Wednesday. But when we use days of the week or months of the year, they're always a capital, no matter if it's at the beginning of the sentence or if it's a word in the middle of a sentence. So that's why Wednesday got a capital. Okay, usually we are not allowed to sneak capitals into middles of sentence, but I am going to circle Wednesday, or sorry, we in Wednesday. And then there's another popcorn word right here at the end. There's the word ah. All right, so it is Wednesday. All right, let's look at our next sentence. We are celebrating the letter H today. So we just talked about how we is a popcorn word. We found it in Wednesday. So let me circle we. Okay, R. It's not a popcorn word. There is the word a in it, but you know we only circle an a once in a, in a, in a message. So we're not going to do that one. Okay, now the next one is a big word. It's called celebrating. Now celebrating is not a popcorn word, but it does have two popcorn words in it. And I'll give you a hint, they're near the end of it. So let me just put it a little closer so you can see it. We're talking about this word right here. Do you see any popcorn words in that word near the end? So the first one is this one right here, A-T. That spells at. And the next one is I-N, and that spells in. So two words are hidden in there, okay? The next word, so it says we are celebrating the, and you all know that the is a popcorn word, so I'm gonna go ahead and circle that one. Letter, I don't see a popcorn word there, H, today. And I do, I do see a popcorn word in the word today. Do you see it? Right there, two. All right, and then the last sentence is a question because it has a question mark at the end instead of a period. So let's look and see what that says. It says, can you think of words that rhyme with at? Sorry, that rhyme with hat. So the first word is can, and hopefully you all know can because it's a popcorn word. And then you is a popcorn word too. So can you think? I see a popcorn word in the word think. Do you see it? Here it is right here. In is in the word think. Of, it's not a popcorn word. Words. That. There is a popcorn word in the word that. Do you see it? Right here. At is in that. Rhyme. Ooh, there's a popcorn word at the end of rhyme. Right here. Me is hidden in the word rhyme with hat. And in the word hat, there's a popcorn word at. And friends, let's just talk about this question mark. So can you think of words that rhyme with hat? And remember, we use a question mark when it's a question that you want people to answer. And when we read a sentence with a question mark, our voice kind of goes up at the end of the sentence. So if it was a period, we would say, can you think of words that rhyme with hat? But it's a question, so listen to my voice when I say the word hat. Can you think of words that rhyme with hat? See how my voice kind of goes up? That helps you know that it is a question. So let's do that challenge right now. So I'm gonna rewrite the word hat for us. I'm gonna just do it all in capitals because I'm going to, I really want to point out that when words rhyme, and we did talk about this last week, last Thursday, we did a whole lesson on rhyming during our live class. Rhyming is a word that end in the same sound. 
most of the time the same sound means the same letters. Sometimes it's not quite the same letters, but for this it is. So we are thinking of words that end in at. So can you think right now of any words that rhyme with hat? I'm going to write them and let's see if you can sound them out with me after I write them, okay? We already know the last sound is at, so we're just going to change the first sound. So I'm going to start with this one. So a C says k, so k, at, cat, so hat, cat. Okay, let's try this one. Okay. M, at, m, at, mat, so hat, cat, mat, they all rhyme. Um, how about this one? Whoops, that's a bit of a messy S, but that's okay. We all make mistakes. All right, so s at, s at, sat, right? So we've got hat, cat, mat, sat. Okay, now I'm going to make it a little trickier for you. I'm going to put two sounds at the beginning of the word, but I know you can do it. So this time we have an F and an L. So full at, full at, full at. Flat. So hat, cat, mat, sat, flat. Right? They all rhyme. There was actually another word that rhymes in this message, and it was this word. And it ends in at, and it's got two letters at the beginning. Now, you know that when we see a T and an H, they do not say t. A T and an H is the rude clown. Remember him? He sticks out his tongue like this. So it's that, that, so that. So in the sentence we said, can you think of words that rhyme with hat? So that word rhymed. So let's see if you can read all of these words with me. Are you ready? I'll point and you try and read. Hat, cat, mat, sat, flat, and that. Good work. That is a little bit tough to do rhymey words and to sound them out. And I think probably a lot of you did that with me, so I'm proud of you. Okay, my marker lid fell on the ground. Let me grab that. Because we don't want our markers to dry out. I'm always careful. We talk about this a lot in the classroom. Snap that lid back on, right? So we don't dry it out. All right, before we go, I have a book for you. It's actually a song book. And it has the letter H in the title. It says, there's a hole in my bucket. So the word hole starts with the letter H. Okay. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, a hole. Well, fix it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. Well, fix it, dear Henry, dear Henry, fix it. With what shall I fix it, dear Liza, dear Liza? With what shall I fix it, dear Liza? With what? With a straw, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. With a straw, dear Henry, dear Henry, with a straw. So maybe you can kind of tell what's happening. They're going to do some different things with that bucket to try and fix the hole. But the straw is too long, too long, too long. But the straw is too long, dear Liza, too long. Then cut it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. Then cut it, dear Henry, dear Henry, cut it. Well, how shall I cut it, dear Liza, dear Liza? Well, how shall I cut it, dear Liza? Well, how? With an axe, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. With an axe, dear Henry, dear Henry. With an axe. But the axe is too dull, dear Liza, dear Liza. But the axe is too dull, dear Liza, too dull. Then sharpen it, dear Henry, dear Henry. Dear Henry, then sharpen it, dear Henry, dear Henry, sharpen it. You might be noticing that Henry keeps having problems and Liza keeps telling him solutions to help fix the problem. They're working together. It's teamwork. 
On what shall I sharpen it? Dear Liza, dear Liza, on what shall I sharpen it? Uh, dear Liza, on what? On a stone, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry, on a stone, dear Henry, dear Henry, on a stone. But the stone is too dry, dear Liza, dear Liza, but the stone is too dry, dear Liza, too dry. How do you think she's going to tell him to fix the dry stone? Can you problem solve that one? Let's see if you're right. Then wet it, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry, then wet it, dear Henry, dear Henry, wet it. With what shall I wet it, dear Liza, dear Liza, with what shall I wet it, dear Liza, with what? What do you think she's going to say? What do you wet a stone with? With water, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry, with water, dear Henry, dear Henry, with water. Well, how shall I carry it, dear Liza, dear Liza? Well, how shall I carry it, dear Liza? Well, how? In a bucket, dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. In a bucket, dear Henry, dear Henry. In a bucket. And then friends, so look at him carrying it. Look at here, are you noticing what is happening? But there's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, a hole. So friends, this is so silly. The book started with him having the problem of having a hole in his bucket. And then they went through all of the ways to get the bucket fixed. But then by the end of the book, he still wasn't able to fix the bucket and it had a hole in it. So that book is kind of funny. And then at the end of this book, look at them. You guys will like this. They're in their underclothes having a little shower from the water in the bucket. And then here's the music if you ever, I know some of our friends play the piano. A few of you showed us you know, your piano playing skills during um, our talent show. And you could, this is the music for that song if you ever wanted to play it. Um, but you don't just have to play it on a piano. You could play it on any instrument if you play anything. So that's what that is for. That tells you the musical notes to play. Okay, friends, um, I want to remind you that um, Miss Hildebrand has put some activities for you on our D2L page. So after this is over, go ahead and check out what she has put for you. She always puts a lot of time into thinking of things that you could do. So I'd love for you to check that out on our D2L page. And it's time for us to say goodbye. Are you ready? See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Be sweet, parakeet. Give a hug, ladybug. See you soon, raccoon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Blow a kiss, goldfish. <sighs> Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Think about what letter would come tomorrow. Today was H. Try and sing the alphabet in your head and try and see if you can figure out what tomorrow's letter is. It's going to be a fun one. Make sure you join tomorrow's live meeting because you're really going to like what I do in the meeting, okay? All right. See ya.